students welcome to yet another wonderful session so today we are going to be talking about the substitution method trust me it's a very simple method whenever it comes to finding out the value of the unknown variables though we have other methods as well but i feel that this is the most easiest one all right so before we get started there is an important update for you it's regarding the byju's mini learning program that is free now but it's a limited period offer and you have to use the code yt free all in caps now before we start let me just tell you what all benefits you are getting here so it's basically as i said it's a two teacher advantage one on one guidance from the personal mentor you can take three sessions absolutely free over here and that too at whatever time you want to take the class at and for whichever subject you want to you will get after class assignments and assessments live interactive classes as well so many benefits you are getting here So please do check it out. Link is there in the description, and I hope that everybody has joined the Telegram channel because the sessions that we do here, their session PDFs would be shared over the Telegram channel. Quizzes, homework questions, session updates, and of course, revision questions as well. So if you haven't joined it, go join it. Link is there in the description below. But for now. let's discuss the substitution method so this is from your chapter in linear equations in two variables all right so basically we have to find out the value of the unknowns we have the graphical method as well as the algebraic method so in algebraic method we have got these two methods one is substitution method and elimination method so today i'm discussing the substitution method so let's get started let's first understand how to apply this method so first of all whenever you have to apply this method at any question you will be given two equations pick up any of the equations whichever looks simpler i would say and write one variable in terms of the other all right so let's say x in terms of y y in terms of x or variable could be something else as well and then you have to substitute the value of that variable in the other equation not in the same equation and then you have to simplify this from there you would get the value of that variable once you get the value of one of the variable then you have to substitute that value in any of the equations you will get the value of the other variable so this is the method now let's take an example to understand this solve the following equations by substitution method x minus y equal to 3 and x plus y equal to 7 both equations look simple so let's pick any of the equations let's say we pick the equation number 1 and we have to find out the value of x from here you can find out value of y as well but let's say i'm finding out the value of x that's going to be y plus 3 right now what i'll do is i'll substitute this value of x in the other equation which is this one so once i substitute here in place of x we will write y plus 3 plus y equal to 7 so y plus y is going to be 2y plus 3 Equals to seven, so two y is going to be equal to seven minus three. Two y equals to four. Y is going to be equals to two. So I have the value of y. I've got the value of one of the variable. Now I'm going to substitute this value of y in any of the equations, whether this, this, or this one. So let's say I'm substituting here in this one. So what do I get? X equals to y plus three is going to be equal to. Let's put y here. X would be equal to two plus three. That's going to give us five. So we have got the value of both the variables, x as well as y over here. Now let's take another example to understand this. Solve the following equations by substitution method: 2x minus 5y equal to minus 1, 5x plus 3y equals to 13. This is a little complicated one. Complicated than the previous one, I would say. So let's suppose I'm using the first equation. It's not a hard and fast rule that you always have to use the first equation to get the value. You can use the second one as well. Let's say from the first one, I'm finding out the value of x. So that's going to be equals to x equals to 5y minus 1 upon 2, right? and then i'll substitute this value of x in this second equation right so what will this become it's going to be 5 times 5 is here 5y minus 1 upon 2 plus 3y is equals to 13 now to simplify this i'm going to multiply 5 inside so what do i get here 25y minus 5 plus 6y because we are taking lcm as well simultaneously equals to 26 if you take 2 to the other side let me just show you the step how we are coming at this once i multiply this i get 25y Minus five by two plus three y equals to thirteen. That's going to be twenty five y minus minus five plus six y by two equals to thirteen. Let's take this two to the other side. You will arrive at this equation. Now let's keep variables on one side and constants on one side. We have thirty one y equals to thirty one. So y would be equals to one. I have the value of one of the variable. Now let's substitute this in the other equations to get the value of x. Let's suppose I'm using this equation. So I have x equals to five times one minus one upon two. That's going to be five minus one upon two, which is four by two. That's equals to two. So I've got the value of x as well as y. So I hope you are clear with the substitution method. 
and that's all from my end so do leave a comment for me how you like this video and don't worry we have got you covered so many sessions we have lined up for you from every monday to friday to make you exam ready so do like share and subscribe if you feel that these videos are actually helping you thank you